Top 5 Unique Places to Visit in New Zealand Did you know that New Zealand is the adventure capital of the world? And the fruit, kiwi, yes, it is named after a bird, the country's iconic symbol, and also what people from New Zealand are called. Kia ora, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're taking a look at the top 5 unique places to visit in New Zealand. Join us and stay till the end to find out why the country is the adventure capital of the world and where you can encounter the famous bird, the kiwi. Our first stop is quite common and we're sure you've heard a lot about this place or even watched it in films. Located on the North Island of New Zealand in Matamata, the Hobbiton movie set. The tour starts at the entrance of the movie set, which is Shire's Rest. Once you enter, you will board a bus going to the actual movie set, where you will already see the famous rolling hills. There will be a guide waiting for you as soon as you arrive. The guide will take you on a walking tour to show you the iconic locations from the movies and the Hobbit holes. Not only was The Hobbit filmed in this location, but so was Lord of the Rings. That is why you'll be able to see where Bilbo's birthday party was held at the party tree or the home of Bilbo and Frodo Baggins, the Bag End. And of course, the Green Dragon Inn, where the hobbits always gather to have a pint of ale. Speaking of Green Dragon Inn, you can also experience the Evening Banquet for a feast to top off your Hobbiton experience. These tours can be booked through their website. There are private tours, combination or package tours, and even special events. The country is known for its unique and breathtaking natural beauty. That is why we are about to show you this unique and illuminating location which is the Waitomo Glowworm Caves. This series of underground limestone caves is famous for its unique glowworms that light up like a starry night sky. The cave caters to different activity levels and interests and offers different tours. The most popular tour is the walking guided tour which goes to different caves and ends with a boat ride through the glowworm grotto. This tour is the shortest, taking just 45 minutes which is why it is mostly chosen and suitable for all ages. But if you're on the adventurous side, the Blackwater Rafting Tour is for you. They have different levels from beginner to advanced. If you're on the beginner side, you will experience seeing the glowworms up close while riding a rubber tube and you'll jump a not too high waterfall. The difference is that you'll be hooked up to a zipline and ride in a pitch black cave. After the zipline, you'll also jump to a waterfall and ride the rubber tube to see the glowworms. This is definitely the highlight of the cave, but aside from this, there are also some natural features. You'll also see towering stalactites, rock formations that rise from the ceiling to the floor, and stalagmites, rock formations from floor to ceiling. Before deciding to take this tour, make sure that you are physically fit and wear comfortable clothes and shoes with grip since it'll be a slippery journey. Another natural wonder that New Zealand has to offer is its famous geothermal features in Teipuya. By the way, Teipuya means geyser, geothermal, or simply hot spring. Walking around the park, you will already see the famous Pahuru geyser, steaming vents, and bubbling mud pools. The Pahuru geyser erupts roughly 20 times a day, while other geysers erupt every hour, like the Prince of Wales Feathers geyser. And for the Teitohu geyser, it erupts several times a day. Other than the natural phenomenon, you can also learn about Maori culture at the Maori Arts and Crafts Institute. You'll witness a lot of traditional arts and crafts being created, like weaving and wood carving, and you can even see their traditional tattooing. You can also learn these and participate in their workshops. This will definitely be a fun experience. There is also a cultural performance every day. The two-hour performance will show you, through songs and dances, the history and traditions of the Maori people. Since we have brought up the cultural experience at Teipuya, you can also see the country's national icon at the Kiwi Conservation Center. The rare encounter will be a remarkable experience since the animal can only be found in the country. The kiwi contributes a lot to the Maoris, which is why it is a symbol of pride and affection. When visiting the center, don't forget to read all the rules of the place to show respect to the national bird. The best part of this tour is trying Maori traditional food. There is a restaurant called Parakakai that serves different varieties of local food. The dish is more special because the ingredients are locally sourced and cooked using Maori cooking techniques. Make sure not to miss the hangi, cooked in an earth oven, and the kawakawa tea from the tree itself, which is said to have medicinal properties. New Zealand is not done surprising us just yet because the next location is stunningly icy. But don't worry, Franz Joseph Glacier has a lot more to offer than ice. One of the main attractions is the guided glacier tour, or the glacier heli hike. The hike route is more exciting because of its changing route due to weather conditions or just nature. 
It says that sometimes, you'll find yourself sliding in crevasses or a deep crack that creates an ice sheet. You could be between ice towers or squeezing your body in ice caves. This is why it's important to take a guided tour because of the precautions that you may need during the tour. You could also experience rock climbing or the glacier heli ice climb. Don't worry about safety because there will be a briefing before the tour starts and you will be equipped with the gear that you need for the climb. Now, after all the tiring activity, you can reward yourself by unwinding in nearby hot pools. Just a few minutes from Franz Josef Village are the glacier hot pools. And if you're not physically fit but still want to experience the ice, a helicopter tour of the glacier is for you. It will also give you an opportunity to walk on ice and enjoy the breathtaking scenery. A soak in the warm water surrounded by rainforest or mountains is the perfect activity to end your thrilling day. There are three main pools to choose from, Te Wai Wakahau Manu, the reviving waters, Te Wai Wakawai, the easing waters, and Te Wai Torima, the trending waters. If you want full relaxation on your own, there is a private pool available. Towels, swimwear, and a locker are also available for rent if you don't want to worry too much about carrying a lot of things. If you think ziplining in pitch black caves at Waitomo Glowworm Caves and ice climbing or hiking in Franz Josef Glacier are extreme, wait until you experience the adventure capital of the world, Queenstown. The town welcomes beginners and adrenaline junkies. When the country said there are a lot of activities to do in Queenstown, there are really a lot. Bungee jumping, skydiving, zip lining, jet boating, skiing, snowboarding, and hiking – activities that are truly heart racing. It may be scary, but do not miss the chance to experience bungee jumping where it originated. The oldest bungee jump experience at AJ Hackett's Kawarau Bridge has the highest jump at an incredible 134-meter plunge at Nevis Bungee. What better way to appreciate the beauty of Queenstown than by skydiving? At 4,000 meters, you will see the panoramic view from above Lake Wakatipu. If you do the jet boat tour, you may get a peek at Mount Aspiring National Park, or it may take a route to the Blue Shotover River, which flows through imposing canyons and enormous rocks and is only a short drive from Queenstown. Skiing at Coronet Peak at night is an evening experience you should not miss, and while you're in the area, take a lesson in snowboarding as well and complete your winter activity experience. The town offers plenty of hiking and scenic walks, a stroll along the shores of Lake Wakatipu, exploring Queenstown Hill, or heading out to the nearby Mount Aspiring National Park for a full day hike. These activities can be tiring, which is why it is a perfect time to try the famous Ferg Burger in Queenstown. The prime juicy New Zealand beef will definitely ease your tiring day. Our team of dedicated travel and geography enthusiasts works tirelessly to bring you captivating videos that explore the beauty, history, and culture of countries around the globe. If you enjoy this video on New Zealand, click here to watch our video on the top 10 must-see places in Australia.